What is up, everyone? My name is Ben, and I'm the founder of Bullring Crypto. I'm also lead educator over at LumenSwap. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about an exciting new project that is going to be launching on the Stellar Network. I have been a fan of this project for many months now, and to hear that they're launching a token has given me great excitement today. And I wanted to bring a video so that we can have a little high-level overview of what's gonna be happening there and whether it's something that you should be getting involved in. So let's first of all share my screen and let's read through some of the content that uh, we can find, let's go here and let's share. Okay, so we are uh, talking about the RBT token from Rabbit. Rabbit is a wallet on the Stellar Ledger. So this enables us to interact with dApps that are built on Stellar and we can uh, move NFTs, move different tokens. We can do a variety of different actions within the rabbit wallet i like it. it's one of my favorites and that's a cause for great excitement to see this rbt token that's going to be launching so let's read through the document and then let's find and dig out the key pieces of information hi stellar family today we've made a major decision to create a large ecosystem on stellar's client layer we believe that in addition to the DAO managed core of Stellar, a community governed ecosystem must be present on the client side. To this end, and to create a powerful ecosystem, we have decided to mint the Rabbit token, RBT, to turn our community members into stakeholders in that value that Rabbit creates. What is RBT? RBT is a governance token for Rabbit minted on to enable community growth and participation. Asset codes RBT, there's the issuer. The total supply is going to be 100 million tokens only, and the blockchain or the ledger there should be, or as it is, uh, is stellar. Token allocation, we can see how the token's broken down. They're giving half of the amount of tokens to the reward. 10% to marketing, 10% public sale, 20% pre-sale, and 10% to the team. 50% for ecosystem reward. Let's read through it. Rabbit is a community-led project, and we want to illustrate this fact by distributing RBT among community members. Our goal is to give 50% of the supply to the users via various programs. The rewards incentivize holding, providing liquidity, and hunting bugs. 10% for the team. These tokens are allocated to the development team. 20% for marketing. These tokens will be used for Rabbit's branding, advertising, business-to-business -business partnerships, exchange listings, etc. 10% for the public sale. These tokens are allocated to the community and will be distributed to members of the community through a public sale. Note, yeah, keyword. Note, we plan to hold an open auction in the near future to allow community members to buy RBT. The details will be announced in the coming weeks. So we've got to stay tuned on this. We've got to follow Rabbit yeah, on Twitter. We've got to be making sure that we, we're plugged into their Discord because there's going to be details coming and we don't want to miss out on this auction. 20% for pre-sale. These tokens are allocated to investors who intend to invest in Rabbit for the long term. Note, we have also, so again, keyword note, we have also, uh, we also have a pre-sale scheduled, uh, scheduled for the public sale to attract funds from long-term investors. These details will be announced in the coming weeks again. Let's highlight that just so you see it, right? Details will be in the coming weeks. This is now, this document is live today. So that we are now in the last third of November. So I would be saying we're going to be hearing something in late November, early December. Stay tuned, guys. Right, token circulation and lock period. I'm always interested in the emission rates of any token that is launching. So let's delve into this. We're not seeing the 100 million tokens for the Q17. That's when we're going to see this. So this is broken down into quarters by the looks. So eight quarters is going to be two years. Let's make the comparison, guys. Let's see if all of this works out. We've got the ecosystem reward, 2% each month from token generation event. Team, two years locked. And after that, 5% each month. Well, if that's the case, we have a look at the team there. The team is red. That kicks in on Q8. So this is indeed 
quarters. So eight quarters are in two years. So there's no team tokens until the two-year point, which is great. After one year, Q4, we're looking at around about halfway between the two of them. So we're looking at something like 37.5 million tokens to circulate and supply after one year, roughly speaking, okay? That's where I'm pulling that in. So if you want to take that, that's, I think, where we're going to be. Uh, marketing 5% each month from token generation event, pre-sale, um, sale, three months locked, and after that, 5% each month. So we're going to be having these tokens, which are the pre-sale yellow. They're going to be locked for three months. Uh, so they're going to be coming out after quarter, three months locked, and after that, 5% each month. They're going to be coming out vested after three months, yeah, from what it's saying there. Public sale, 100% at the token generation event. RBT use cases, governance, RBT holders can vote on major community issues and participate in the development via a portal that will be built in the near future. So this is going to be a DAO, D, distributed or decentralized, whatever you call it, autonomous organization, meaning it's going to be built by the community, directed by the community, which is fantastic. And they're building yeah, a um, product to enable us to get involved in that, which is really exciting for the whole of the Stellar ecosystem to be seeing these DAOs popping up and people coming forward, contributing their skills to the overall advancement of the whole Stellar ecosystem. I absolutely love it. For the developers, there's a bug report bounty. Incentivize the community to assist us in the development process. We've allocated a 10% of the supply for bug bounties. This bug must be reported via a pull request on GitHub, and its bounty depends on the severity. Pull reward. I love pull rewards. Yeah, I think it's the way forward. I really think it's the way forward for projects to bring liquidity into Stellar to help that whole ecosystem grow. I think we're absolutely onto something with this. To these tokens set aside for providing liquidity. So let's have a look. As another measure to encourage participation, we've allocated 10% of the supply to users who provide liquidity to the RBT XLM and RBT USDC pools. Rewards will be distributed every month. Again, very, very similar to what we've seen on Lumen Swap, where they are incentivizing that um, those two pools, the XLM and the USDC, they're pulling in liquidity. The top um, liquidity provision outside of the native coin XLM and USDC pair is Lumen Swap. And there's a reason for that because it's been incentivized. Okay, so that's a good thing because it's going to bring more liquidity into Stellar. I'm very, very happy with that. Um, holder reward as a way to reward uh, loyal Rabbit users and RBT holders. We have allocated another 10% of the supply to users who have RBT in their wallets. There's going to be a snapshot taken very much like the holder reward on LumenSwap. This is what I'm loving so much. The rewards will be distributed every month in proportion to the number of tokens in your wallet. Point to note again, guys. To qualify for this reward, you need to hold at least 1,000 RBT tokens, right? So there's 100 million of them. You've got to be holding 1,000 of them. Remember, we spoke 35 million after one year. That's what the circulating supply is going to be. You need to be getting them 1,000 early doors because I can see that this is going to be a project that increases, appreciates in value over a period of time from them early auction and token sales through so the earlier you get them thousand you can start making those gains on holding yeah on your holding in your wallet of course hold them in your rabbit wallet right that's the whole idea i think but any stellar native stellar wallet i'm sure will qualify so let's have a look at about rabbit what does it say here rabbit is an integrated set of open source wallets for the stellar network allowing everyone around the world to interact with stellar so it's a web3 browser extension wallet at the minute and i know they also have got a little cheeky gift for us because they have got a mobile wallet coming for android and ios and that is coming in a matter of weeks we haven't got long to wait which is really exciting they're going to be able to provide us with both for developers here developers can directly inject rabbit into their application through the browser without the need to install an sdk or package this is the safe start of safe interaction with your users 
for users. Users can easily do all the operations available on Stellar, including asset transfer, asset exchange, and interact with all the Stellar apps in a safe, user-friendly environment. Rabbit is your key to entering the world of Stellar, which buzzes me up because, as I said, I've been a fan. I'm obviously a massive Lumen Swap, you know, advocate, educator. You know, I think Lumen Swap is going to be something else in 2022 on the Stellar Network. And one of the earliest partners of Lumen Swap was Rabbit. And that is the reason why I'm so fired up about this you know, um, token launch, yeah, the RBT. For one, I think that DAOs are the way forward. I hate centralized authority. I understand it has a place, but in crypto, I think, you know, the, the easier that we can move away from these centralized teams, centralized treasuries, and all of that kind of thing, and move into this Web3 decentralized model, the better. And I see DAOs as one of the up and coming areas of progression and explosion in 2022, along with the metaverse, NFTs and gaming experiences, all that kind of stuff. I see DAOs central to that. So I'm really amped up that Rabbit are seeing that in the same way as me. But anything that you've got regarding questions, you can put it in the comments here. And what I will do is I'll pass this video over right, to Rabbit. Any comments that get put here on YouTube, what I'll do is I will get them, the team there, to answer your questions for you, right? So I'll do my level best if they're just low level, but if they're more technical questions about the bug bounties, about the wallets, about the development and that kind of thing, then I will ask them to have a look at this video and to keep an eye on the comments so that they can give you the best possible information. Thanks, guys, as always. If you enjoyed the content of this video, like and comment underneath. If you really amped up about my what I'm doing with regard to bringing you the best information from Stellar Projects with NFTs, with Lumen Swap, and all the other stuff I'm doing with DeFi and farming, hit that subscribe and the bell, and then you will get notifications every time I do another video. As always, it's great speaking to you. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Take care.